Hey there, everyone. Uh, this is just going to be a really quick intro to how to use um, sine, cosine, and tangent on Desmos. So the first thing that you want to do real quick is go over and click the wrench in the top right corner. And you want to make sure that, um, well, usually it starts out in radians. And if you're in geometry in particular, you're definitely going to want to put it into degree mode. This is one of the most common mistakes that I see uh, geometry students make. They accidentally leave the calculator in radian mode, but they want degrees. If you're in advanced algebra trig or pre-calculus or calculus, you might want radians. Um, so just make sure you pick whichever one is appropriate for what you're working with. For geometry, definitely pick degrees. Okay, now we're going to go and click into the box over here. And there's a couple different ways you can do sine, cosine, and tangent in Desmos. The first way is just to type it. So you can type S-I-N parentheses, and then whatever angle you want to know the sine of. So let's say I wanted to know the sine of 47 degrees. I would type sine 47 parentheses, and it would tell me what it is. Okay. The second way that you can do it is you can uh, get the keyboard going down here and click functions. And under trig with functions, there's sine, cosine, tangent. There's actually all of the trig functions you could want. Uh, you're going to mainly, for geometry anyway, focus on these first three. And then we'll also end up talking about these next three later on. Um, so sine, cosine, and tangent are all right there. Let's say I want to do cosine. I'd click cosine and then uh, whatever angle I want. And it tells me what cosine of 47 is. All right. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Come to office hours. Send me an email. Any of those will work. Have a wonderful day.